and welcome back to the channel and here we are with a Cadola. Um, who are they? So according to the box and the website they've been around since 1946. They predominantly uh, seem to uh, kind of produce like, chronographs and motor racing inspired stuff and I'll leave a, a couple of pictures here somewhere um, just kind of give you a rough idea of some of the stuff that they do and they do have some kind of divers as well of which this is one of them and uh, I've this isn't an unboxing but I'll show you how it comes uh, there was an outer box and then inside the outer box was this box and then inside there you get uh, this which is your outer sleeve which is then over the top of that so uh, yeah the packaging is uh, quite extensive uh, this is uh, quite a nice box actually got this kind of textured feel to it and then this is a lift off lid and then in the top there you've got this this is a padded piece which is quite nice Cadola 1946 uh, so we'll pop that there somewhere We'll even put that in there. There we go. How's that? And then you get this piece of foam, uh, which is covering everything that you get in the box. Um, like I said, this is not an unboxing. Uh, so this is the tag. And we are talking about today this one, which is the Cadola CD100544. And it is the Numea. Now, the, uh, or should I say, Numea itself is a town. So this has been named after a town on... Um, the uh, Pacific Island, uh, part of the New Caledonia Territory, uh, which is actually depicted on the case back, and we'll come to that shortly. It is a limited edition, and this is number 69 of 300 pieces, so I'm guessing there's 300 pieces per colourway. These are available from Mainspring Boutique. This is how it comes. comes with a, another strap. We'll talk about that briefly in a little while. Spring bar removal tool, your card which tells you that it is limited edition your swing tag now you have a uh, manual here telling you how to use your automatic movement and also you have a warranty card which is unsigned um, which is unusual from mainspring boutique which is uh, the outlet for um you know, the, the the company that deals with spinnaker and uh RGMT, etc., etc. It's the same place, um, which is the Dartford brands. Uh, but there is a uh, QR code on the back which will take you to the website. So that's what comes in the box. Let's get to the bit you all want to have a look at, which is the watch. Comes on this pillow, which is actually signed, both sides. So, you know, packaging, very nice. You know, it's very, very kind of well thought out. But is the watch as good as the packaging? That's always the crunch, isn't it? Uh, so what are we talking about? We are talking about a 200 meter diver. And I've got lots of dust on there already. Um, sorry, smacking the camera. Um, so 200 meter diver, um, all 316L stainless steel case and bracelet and case back. Case back is solid. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Uh, dimensions wise, now this is going to be uh, uh, quite a good all rounder, I think. It's a fantastic set of sizes on this. Um, we've got a case size of 39.4 millimeters, including the crown, is 42.7. We've got a lug to lug of 48.1, a thickness of 13.5, uh, a lug width of 20 millimeters. And uh, overall weight on the supply bracelet uh, with all the links in of 162 grams. And I've taken uh, two links out to size it for me. Uh, the finishing on the watch is mostly brushed. There is a, uh, a chamfered edge here. And I'll pop a close-up picture of that up so you can have a look at that in a bit more detail. You can see the fit of the... Uh, the end link into the case is nicely done as well. Uh, the crown is signed. It is also screwed down. Um, brushing on the side, brushing on the top. The brushing does match the bracelet quite well, which is nice to see. Uh, brushing, obviously, on the other side. Uh, we've got uh, polished PVD coated gold on the bezel of this. Now, there's various different options there. You know, I'll also, I'll put pictures of the, some of the other colorways. These are the ones that are currently available from Mainspring Boutique. Uh, there are other colors, 
but if you go on the uh, the actual Cadola website, some of them are sold out. Um, the bezel itself is 120 quick click, uh, unidirectional. Uh, I'll be quiet. You can hear that. It's got a little bit of a tinny sound to it, but it does feel quite good. It's got about the right amount of tension. Uh, when you go over a click, there is a small amount of back play, but once it's sat in position, it does not move. Then there's, yeah, there's zero back play once it's in place and uh, it does actually line up. Um, looking at the dial, we'll move in a little bit closer to that and have a look. You've got uh, applied indices, which are all batten markers. You've got double batten markers at the 12, the 6 and the 9. Framed date window at the three o'clock. Cadola, which is printed just below the 12 and automatic 200 meters. Oh, sorry, is it 200 meters? I can't quite see that. 21 joules, sorry. Um, well, automatic 21 joules, but it is a 200 meter diver. But it, kind of looking at it, I think it's probably more of a dress diver. I quite like the little gold line that goes across that dial. That's quite nice. Um, the dial is has got a slight texture to it, uh, which is kind of difficult to pick up really because that uh, I mean the anti-reflective coating on that sapphire crystal is doing its job as you can see um, yeah so that that's quite good now the loom on this uh, as you can see has been sort of color matched to the gold um, so therefore the loom is not fantastic that does actually suffer for that and you're looking I mean I would say it was kind of readable for about two and a half hours after a full charge. And as you can see, it's quite bright to start with, but the indices are obviously uh, not, uh, it's not been applied as uh, as much on there as it has on the hands. Uh, <clears throat> inside the watch, it is running and I can already feel some groans. The Miyota 8215, and this is not the updated version. This is the uh, the, the non-hacking version in this. Um, so 21 joules, 21,600 vibrations per hour. Hacking only, uh, sorry, hand winding only, no hacking. Um, and with the, with the date complication, it is running pretty accurately. And I'll put a quick, quick picture up of the... Uh, a uh, little time graph or app so you can see that it is actually running really well so from a timekeeping point of view i've got no issues with it whatsoever the bezel insert is aluminium now beware because this caught me out um when i first got this i thought well, you know what well, that is marking really really easily I mean, it was kind of covered in little tiny scratches and I, was, I was this close to sending it back and then suddenly realised that they put this coating on it, um, on the bezel insert, um, which you can peel off, but it took forever. I, it was the stickiest substance known to mankind. Once it started to come away, it was OK. Uh, it was a kind of a sigh of relief, to be honest with you. Uh, but it, uh, yeah, it is definitely an aluminium insert. Uh, bracelet, as I said, 20 millimetres here. We've got this oyster style three link bracelet. Uh, articulates pretty well. Uh, it's not not the best, not the worst. It's quite good. There is a little bit of a stick sticky point here on the female part of the end link. If you can see, it kind of sits there. Uh, it doesn't affect the way that it wears, um, but it was just I just thought I'd mention it. Uh, you can just kind of feel a, a little kind of click if you like when it comes up to that point there. Uh, tapers down to 18 mil at the clasp, no fold over. Just double deployment, Cadola, which is uh, uh, etched into the uh, outer shell, which is pressed. The inner part of the uh, clasp is milled. And there is that case back, and I'll put a better picture of that up so you can have a look at that and read what's on the case back as well. So I don't have to try and read it out to you through the camera. Um, and that is the, uh, the town of uh, Noumea uh, in uh, New Caledonia. So in the Pacific. That's what that's all about. Uh, solid end links uh, brushed on the inside of the bracelet. There are a couple of places on the inside of the bracelet. It's a, uh, it looks to be a kind of a little bit pitted, but not. I'm not too sure how to explain that. And it was difficult to photograph. Um, but it was it's, it's decent finishing, um, but not 
fantastic. Uh, but overall, I think the finishing is very good. It feels nice in the hand. The, the stainless steel is nice and smooth. You know, the brushing on the case sides is really well done. Um, there's no sharp edges or anything on the case, which is nice. Um, we'll have a, a quick look at this uh, leather strap that comes with it which is over in the box, if I can reach, here we go. Uh, pretty standard, nice, nice chunky, thick um, leather strap there. And uh, as you can see, I have worn this on the, uh, on the strap as well. And that is the hole that I'm at there and I am a seven and three quarter inch wrist. So that's pretty easily gonna go up to eight, eight and a half. So it's a nice long piece, no quick release on these bit of contrast stitching but that was you know it's uh, the quality is there it's quite nice nice signed pin buckle clasp at the end there one fixed keeper one sliding keeper and then the same the other end with your new spring bars in there uh, and it does fit the watch really well uh, it does look quite good I'll put a picture of it up with the uh, with it on the watch for you to have a look at um, but yes now <laughs> price wise the RRP for these RRP is 580 GBP. <clears throat> um, yeah, they're for sale on Ashford for about 300 US dollars. Uh, and that is, I think, about the price that they should be. I don't know where that 580 comes from. Uh, but Mainspring Boutique are currently selling these for 139. So if you want to grab yourself a limited edition 200 meter diver, automatic, and you're not worried about the hacking on the movement, uh, you know, so the second hand doesn't stop, then, uh, yeah, I, it's it's a nicely made watch. It looks quite nice. It definitely is kind of a, I guess, a dress dive of this one, particularly with the, you know, the black and the gold. It does work very well. It's a very kind of visually appealing watch. Um, but yeah, I, yes, I would I would recommend it. Uh, but yeah, bear in mind what I said about it's got the Miyota 8215 and it's the older one. And also don't forget that when it arrives, if it looks like the uh, bezel insert is scratched, it's not. It's got that really horrible, really sticky. Yeah, it caught me out. And, uh, you know, obviously you would think that uh, it wouldn't catch me up, but it did. There you go. I'm not infallible. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. And, uh, you know, I always like reading through and seeing what you think, whether you like, whether you don't like. Um, but yes, I will leave a link to the uh, Mainspring boutique website where you can pick these up just to make your life easier it's not an affiliate link or anything like that i have bought and paid for this this is not a sponsored review uh, but yes i think nice watch nice watch and i think i'll it'll stay around in the collection certainly for the foreseeable future before i may or may not move it on i'm not too sure yet i quite like the uh, the whole black and gold thing going on but Yes, there we go. That's it from me for today. I'm rambling now. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will catch you all in the next video. Cheers for now.